Speaking immediately following this morning's question time in Parliament, members of the opposition voiced their dissatisfaction over several recent decisions relating to investigations of several matters, including the arrest warrant for Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and the controversial Manu Manu land deal. Both issues have made headlines in the media in recent days, given their potential political implications. Today, Mosby Northwest MP Sir Mekere Morauta claimed these decisions were again another demonstration of the breakdown in standards, with the former Prime Minister claiming corruption was now more entrenched than ever under the current government. Corruption is now, I said, standardized, ordered. It's structured now. Every decision made now is based on is it easier to hide money, transmit money from public pockets to private pockets? Those are the decisions, those are all the projects that we're making now. Furthermore, Semekere claimed the situation was becoming worse, especially with a perceived threat to parliamentary democracy. Is this Papua New Guinea needs to come out and talk? put pressure on the other side to come across, we change, because our future is at stake and Peter O'Neill will do everything, including destroying this country, its institutions, its democracy, to stay in power. Opposition leader Patrick Pruwaich also expressed similar sentiments, saying Papua New Guineans had to stand together with the parliamentary opposition to create change at the political level. We need to take the country forward and doing the right thing by our people. That's what leaders are there for. You are not elected to go and run down the economy. You are there to make sure that you re take up responsibility. When the call comes, you've got to stand up and represent your people well. And the important thing a leader does is to make sure that vote for a government that is capable of managing the country well. Shadow Attorney General Karenga Kwa also weighed in, claiming the recent decisions may have been influenced by higher authorities, which he said was a danger to democracy. The former Attorney General and the current uh, Shadow Attorney General says that this is completely uncharacteristic of you. Until that proof, that evidence surfaces, I say that that statement was not made by him, that conclusion was not reached by him. I think this statement originates at best from the office of the Commissioner for Police or if not from the office of the Prime Minister taking a political position and interfering in the independence and autonomy of the police force. That's what's happened.